ever since the announcement of a follow-up to the last Star Wars film that would jump forward in time and see Daisy Ridley return as Rey to raise a new Jedi Order, a rumor that's persisted is that Adam Driver will be back as Kylo Ren. Well, now Driver himself addresses these claims. So again, this comes at us directly from Kylo Ren himself. So the rumor has been that he's either going to be returning as a Force ghost in some sort of way, and or they're going to continue to play off of the whole dyad thing that they had that connects them, and it goes beyond just the living, which honestly, they could do either of it. And if the story is there, it could be really cool. But again, who really knows? So recently, Adam Driver was just point blank asked whether it's true that he signed on to return, and he said he has not heard of them or talked to them, and that they are developing this on their own, and he's never been contacted. And he said for him it's over, he's not doing any more. And he told this to the Smartless podcast. Now honestly, do I believe him? Partially yes, partially no. He's one of the actors that if you look at his interviews and how he conducted himself during PR, he lies a lot. But again, that's just good PR training and he knows how to do it and he's smart. Also, if you really think about it, his story is kind of over, but it could have an impact on this. So if they were to bring him back in some capacity, I think they would keep it a secret and also try not to really get anything out there ahead of when they want it because the last trilogy actually all the star wars films have had tons of leaks so i think they would keep this close to their chest kind of the way they handled luke skywalker's cameo and multiple other things that have recently happened they seem to be able to control it a little bit more so i do think that that's the way that they can handle it but i also do think they honestly haven't talked to him and when they do it's probably going to be closer to the start of production when they can get things a little bit more in line and nailed down in regards to what they want. So they're not out there just winging what they want for his role. Sort of like the Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire return situation. They didn't want to return, but then they saw what it was shaping up to be and they saw the script and they were like, oh yeah, count us in. This is great. So it could be the same type of scenario and that's what I'm going to believe. <laughs> 